Coming up, I'll go over the thought process and influences behind my WC NK knife sheet and go over my multi-carry system. So stick around. Hi, I'm the OCD Hunter, bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can help make your life a little bit more simpler. I really like the hybrid designs of knife sheaths. The combination of Kydex and leather opens up the potential of having great retention while still having a leather sheath. So when designing the sheath, I scoured the web to see what I could find. From that, I found these six sheaths that I really liked. All of them had some type of Kydex retention system that held the knife into place. But out of the six, there were two that I liked the most. Both were very similar in design and function, but one had cleaner lines. And so this sheath ended up being my influence for my hybrid sheath build. Now it just so happens that this sheath was created by Randy Smith at Stitch Gear Outfitters. And if you know anything about WC knives, you'll know that Randy is really the only one out there that I know that offers a stock sheath for Williams knives. Now I don't mean stock by generic, I mean that he actually has a line of design ready to go for WC knives. And really I think other than Randy at Stitch Gear and buying it directly from WC Knives, the only option you have to get a leather sheath is to go custom. I've had discussions with Randy in the past and he was actually the one that kind of turned me on to carrying my knife and scout carry. He's a super nice guy and he even offered to send me some hard to find hardware for this sheath project. If you're interested in any of his products, I'll put a link in the description of his website. But do me a favor, if you do contact him, let him know I sent you. Now besides being a hybrid sheath, there was a couple other qualifiers I wanted the sheath to be able to do. And the first thing was, is I wanted to be able to put it on and off my belt without having to take my belt off. Then I also wanted to have a pouch for a sharpening stone and a loop for a sharpening steel. This was my first major leather project and I'm pretty happy how it turned out. I used around eight ounce veg tan leather the pouch fits a DMT sharpening stone for sharpening, and the loop holds a Victorian Knox sharpening steel for touch-up. The Kydex does a great job keeping my knife in place, and since this is my EDC knife, I wanted flexibility when it came to carrying it. Let me tell you, a lot of thought went into this multi-carry system. First, I used buttons on the belt loops so I could add and remove it from my belt without having to remove my belt. I also spaced the belt loops out to accommodate Molly so I could add it to a pack. I built in D-rings allowing me to carry it as a dangler for my belt and the eyelets give me a way to tie off the bottom of the sheath to my leg. Using both D-rings in conjunction with each other, I can slide a piece of webbing through them for multiple ways to carry and it allows the sheath to slide up and down or I could just use a strap with hooks on each end for a similar carry option. The bottom D-ring allows me to carry it on a hook upside down, like my fire coat, and with the Kydex retention, there is no worry of the knife falling out. This knife is great for cutting seat belts after an auto extrication. Or these D-rings could just be used in a way to quickly connect to a packed, other items, or to store. For a higher belt carry, you can slide the belt through the lower sleeve, either right side up or upside down. Removing the carry system, I can now carry the knife scout carry with the ease of attaching and removing without having to take my belt off. And once again, these straps are spaced with the design to fit Molly, so you can attach it to a pack horizontally. These straps are great to attach to a backpack strap or any other strap for that matter for vertical carry, either right side up or upside down. These straps too can be removed to make the sheath's footprint smaller. And it's equipped with eight eyelets to allow you all kinds of points to lash the sheath to an object in all kinds of configurations. Plus these eyelets are great to allow me to carry it in one of my favorite ways, which is a neck knife. Finally, the sharpening stone and honing rod are removable as well to bring it down to the basic sheath. The ways to carry this knife sheath are almost endless, and since everything is modular and removable, it can be put together to accommodate both right and left-handed carry. 
So there you have it, my first sheath build. My thoughts behind the design and my multi-carry system. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm the OCD Hunter and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified new videos. Comments are always welcome.